So what we're going to look at today is the definition and classification of different alcohols. This first alcohol we have is butan one ol It has the molecular formula C4H9OH. What we're interested in is the carbon which contains the functional group, which is known as the hydroxyl group. And the definition of a primary alcohol is the carbon which contains the hydroxyl group is bonded to one other carbon atom. So to class an alcohol from its name, we need to know that the hydroxyl group will always be in position one and can be found within the name and that there will be no branch on the same position as the hydroxyl group. So let's look at an isomer of butan one ol which is butan 2 ol Because it's an isomer, it's got the same molecular formula, C4H9OH. All we've done is change the position of the hydroxyl group. A secondary alcohol, the carbon which contains the hydroxyl group, is bonded to two other carbon atoms. To identify the classification from the name, you have to know that you will never have position one of the hydroxyl in the name and there will be no branch on the same position. So the next isomer of butan 1 ol is known as 2-methylpropan-2-ol. It still has the same molecular formula, C4H9OH. This is classified as a tertiary alcohol. The carbon which contains the hydroxyl group is bonded to three other carbon atoms. To classify an alcohol from its name, we need to know that the hydroxyl group will never be on position one, but this time it must have a branch which is on the same position as the hydroxyl group. We can see here the hydroxyl group is on position two and the methyl branch is also on position two. So using the definitions of primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols, we're going to see if you can have a go at classifying uh, these alcohols into primary, secondary and tertiary from their structures. So once you're ready, you can press resume and the answers will pop up on the screen. So here's an example for you to have a go at and that is the classification of alcohols from their names. So if you want to pause the video when you're ready you can press resume and the answers will pop up on the screen. This past paper questions from the higher 2019 multiple choice 5. Which of the following compounds is a tertiary alcohol? So we need to remember the shorthand way to remember uh, primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols from their name. We're looking for a tertiary so we don't want the position of the functional group to be on position 1 and the branch has to be on the same position. If we look at B we have 2-methylbutan-2-ol, so that would be classed as a tertiary alcohol. This past paper question is from the higher 2019 multiple choice 12. A secondary amine has two carbons directly bonded to the nitrogen atom. Which of the following is a secondary amine? So, if we look at the first one, the nitrogen is only bonded to one carbon, so it would be classed as primary. B. The nitrogen is bonded to two carbons, so it would be secondary in the correct answer. C, the nitrogen is bonded to three carbon atoms, so it would be tertiary. And in D, the nitrogen is bonded to one carbon atom, so it would be classed as primary. This past paper question is from the higher 2015, written 4DB. Explain why this alcohol can be classed as a tertiary alcohol. It's based off of our definitions. We need to look at the carbon which contains the hydroxyl group. And the carbon which contains the hydroxyl group is bonded to three other carbon atoms, so it's classed as a tertiary alcohol.